Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SUV News Break for Tuesday, January 27th. A Newhall father who was arrested after his baby was found dead is facing not only murder charges, but sexual assault charges as well. Matthew Brendan Warner is being charged with murder, assault on a child causing death, torture, oral copulation, or sexual penetration of a child under 10, and aggravated assault. 19-day-old Ellera Warner was found in the cab of a parked truck in Newhall Avenue parking lot and pronounced dead at the scene on Saturday. The cause of death is still pending toxicology reports and generally takes about six to eight weeks to complete. Warner is due back in court on February 18th. A 46-year-old former Chatsworth resident was found guilty Tuesday of murdering a man and a woman in 2011 whose decomposed bodies were discovered behind a home the three had shared. A jury in San Fernando deliberated for five days before finding Brent Darren Zubek guilty of all nine felony charges. The decomposed bodies of 40-year-old John David Lee and 28-year-old Olita Jean Williams were discovered August 12, 2011 behind their former home in Chatsworth. The victims, who died of multiple gunshot wounds, had been dead for approximately six weeks before their bodies were discovered behind the house. Zubek was arrested 10 days later after eluding LAPD officers for several hours. During the manhunt, he was shot in the hip by officers after he pulled a gun and pointed it at them. Zubek was living in the Santa Clarita Valley when, in 1993, he pleaded guilty to a string of bank robberies. He had lived in the Park Sierra Apartments and the Shadow Pines area of Santa Clarita and was employed at an auto repair service at Ruther and Soledad. Public records also show addresses in an apartment complex near Valencia Boulevard between McBean Parkway and Rockefeller and near Soledad Canyon Road in Canyon Country. A man fled from police around 10.15 a.m. on Tuesday morning in Newhall's Heritage Junction Park, damaging property and his own car in the process. A couple of maintenance people were out on the, on the park grounds and the individual came rapidly through on his, in his car and they tried to stop him and tell him to slow down because we have park patrons here. The person kind of blew him off. He just kept on at a high rate of speed. They told the deputies that this guy needs to be talked to to slow down. When they went to the campgrounds to uh, approach this person, he fled in his vehicle and then it became a pursuit. Sheriff deputies exited their vehicles to chase the man on foot when his car launched off the walkway in front of the Newhall Ranch House. The man turned the car and went through the garden area, then through the chain link gate and out the front entrance. He made a right onto Newhall Avenue and fled the scene. Sheriff officials described the man as a 25 to 30 year old Hispanic male with medium length black hair. The vehicle is a, is a late model black Chevrolet Impala four door with moderate front end damage. If you have any information, you are encouraged to call the Santa Clarita Sheriff Station at 661-255-1121. Deputies are investigating a stabbing in Saugus after a social media argument. A 16-year-old teen was stabbed by an unknown suspect around 7 p.m. on Sunday night. Apparently, the victim was communicating with the suspect on social media, and the suspect came to the victim's home. An argument ensued, and the suspect allegedly stabbed the victim with a knife. The teen's injuries were not life-threatening, and officials are investigating the incident. Turning to sports, SCV TV's first game of the week will be the Canyon Cowboys taking on the Saugus Centurions in girls and boys basketball. It's already the midpoint of the league season and playoff spots, not to mention the league title, are still far from decided. Watch the girls game at 5 o'clock Wednesday, followed by the boys at 6.30, exclusively on Santa Clarita's only local television channel, SCV TV. Now turning to weather, Santa Clarita was partly cloudy with temperatures in the mid-60s. Overnight lows are expected to dip down into the upper 40s. The rest of the week is going to stay partly cloudy with highs reaching into the low 70s on Saturday. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.